Gaming Bowl presents top 10 detective video games that will test your decision making skills. We have a lot to cover here, so let's get to it right away. Gemini Roo Gemini Roo, despite being released several years ago, really went all out to create an awesome adventure that was full of mysteries. The story is really immersive and has tons of new gameplay mechanics that will keep you engaged for a number of hours. You control two characters, Azrael Odin, an ex-assassin, and a man named Delta-6 as you resolve a gripping sci-fi mystery that can affect the entire galaxy. Hotel Dusk, Room 215 now when you hear of a game called Hotel Dusk Room 215, the usual thought that would go through your mind would be, it doesn't look like a worthwhile pickup. However, that's quite far from the truth. Hotel Dusk Room 215 is a game that simply doesn't get the recognition it deserves. The game makes sure that it keeps you playing till the end. It's a film noir style adventure game for the Nintendo DS in which the player controls Kyle Hyde, a cop turned salesman trying to solve the mystery of the Hotel Dusk. The player will become involved in a 30 year old mystery that involves lies, betrayal, kidnapping, and murder. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective Now while not many of you might have heard about Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, let me assure you that this is a game worth playing at least once in your lifetime. The game is structured in a way that it has plenty of twists and turns, just like a great movie, and before you know it, you'll be completely absorbed within its confines. Players can possess and manipulate objects and use powers of the dead as they find the truth behind their own death. Sam and Max Hit the Road Sam and Max Hit the Road is arguably one of the most memorable detective games out there, and as such, it is quite a treat to play the game, no matter your age group. When approaching the game's mysteries, you always have to take a more rational solution, even though the game has a number of far-fetched theories as you attempt to crack Sam and Max's toughest case. Deadly Premonition Deadly Premonition is an open-world survival horror game placing you in the shoes of FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan as he arrives in the small American town of Greenvale to investigate a bizarre series of murders. He soon discovers there is something not right within the town, and sets out to catch the mysterious raincoat killer with his sidekick and split personality, Zack. Though it may have some pacing issues, the story to Deadly Premonition is airtight and is one of the more engaging titles I think I've experienced within gaming. Heavy Rain is a fantastic example of storytelling in the medium, and while it's well written, the plot itself resembles a typical late night thriller, a 7 homage or a PG saw. Whilst other games possess stories that are praised for being good for a game, Deadly Premonition possesses a plot that is just good by the standards of any medium. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter The game starts with main character and narrator Paul Prospero traveling to a small town after receiving a disturbing letter from a boy named Ethan Carter. Paul, being a detective, cannot ignore Ethan's plight and sets out for Red Creek Valley to investigate Ethan's story. As soon as he arrives, he finds the forest filled with dangerous traps and a dead body near the train tracks. With his suspicions confirmed, Paul must find Ethan as fast as possible. During the game, you'll encounter areas where you can inspect items that seem out of place. The first crime scene involves an abandoned train with a curious bloodstain on the front of it. Further down the track, things get quite a bit more serious when you discover a cut rope and a pair of severed legs. We won't spoil anything, but this is only a glimpse into the sinister underbelly of the game. Professor Layton and the Unwound Future There's something comforting about a Professor Layton game. The series has always stuck to its strengths without mixing up the formula much. And yet, unlike other annual franchises that begin to feel stale after a while, the Layton games always remain a joy to play, and in spite of their insistence on being formulaic to a fault, somehow still manage to surprise and delight. Unlike just about every other puzzle game series that originated on the DS, Professor Layton and the Unwound Future tries to give you some context to all the puzzle solving by wrapping them up in neat, genuinely intriguing mystery stories that the characters try to solve. The puzzles themselves are mechanics representing the character's attempt to decipher clues towards the final mystery. Yes, Layton is gaming's very own Sherlock Holmes. Heavy Rain how Far Are You Going To Go To Save Someone You Love is a major theme behind Quantic Dream's interactive cinema thriller. In the game, you'll be scripting your own stories based on the decisions you take during the course of your playthrough. You will take on the role of four characters, Ethan Mars, a father who has to fight it alone and go through the various challenges so that he can save his son, Jaden, an FBI investigator who is an expert in the field of ARI and uses his wits to uncover the truth, Madison Page, an undercover journalist who helps Ethan to uncover the mysteries of the origami killer, and finally, Scott Shelby, a private detective who's been hired by the families of the victims. Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments Holmes remains hard to kill more than 80 years after the death of his creator. The character has become a staple of popular culture, appearing in television, film, video games, and even literature commissioned by the Conan Doyle family. Of all of these depictions, few have been as true to the source material and as respectful of the character as Frogware's Sherlock Holmes series, and unlike the good knight that created him, Frogware seems genuinely excited to continue Holmes' adventures. While former games in the series focused on one long, in-depth case, Crimes and Punishments emphasizes a series of smaller, bite-sized investigations that are linked together by their relation to the exploits of the Merry Men. 
most cases start the same way. Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard has, much to the surprise of absolutely no one, gotten stumped on a rather complicated case, and comes to 221 Baker Street to dump it off on Sherlock Holmes. Fortunately for him, Holmes has just finished nearly killing either himself or Watson out of boredom, and is more than happy to take whatever distraction Lestrade has to offer. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Blade Runner. The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. You hired the Sphinx. Where is it? It's there. Oh, good. Still Life. Black Dahlia. Well, how about the hero buys a girl a drink? Discworld Nor. Snatcher. I cornered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M district. Request immediate backup. The Wolf Among Us. Something's going on. Big P. Did one of us do this? Murdered Soul Suspect. I need to figure out who killed me and stop him. Condemned Criminal Origins. Come on, let's go. Body's rotten as we speak. And without further ado, our top pick among detective games is L.A. Noir. L.A. Noir takes place in 1940s Los Angeles, an era where the World War II has just ended and the city is now flourishing, providing people with a host of opportunities to settle down and become rich and famous. However, the city also hides a dark history of drug smugglers, murderers, and insurance scams. Keen to keep his city safe and clean, Cole Phelps, a former Marine lieutenant who had fought in World War II, comes down to Los Angeles and joins the LAPD. Throughout the game, Cole uncovers several mind-boggling cases which are all connected together somehow. During interrogation, people of interest may lie, say the truth, or give an answer that lies somewhere in between. This is where the player has to judge based on their body language. For example, a person may be lying if he or she is not watching eye to eye or is fidgeting around. All in all, L.A. Noir features some intense plot lines, excellent detective gameplay, and a really impressive motion capture that easily makes it one of the best detective games of all time. That'll be it for this video. If you like what we're doing, please go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.